What's going on, movie goers, movie lovers, and movie fanatics? So, I got some more good news for you guys. If you like M. Night Shyamalan, well, you're gonna love this news. And if you loved Unbreakable, and if you love Split, you're gonna love this news. So, with that being said, yes, M. Night Shyamalan has finally, finally, and Universal finally released the sequel date for Unbreakable and Split. Now, I, I, when I first read it, I thought that was kind of weird. I was like, the sequel for both of them? I was like, okay, so that makes sense. Um, they're going to be combining the characters from Split and Unbreakable. Because if you've seen the end of Split, you know that... Um, uh, what's his fucking name? Oh, my God. Hold on one sec. Give me one second. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis' character, Mr. Dunn, was at that bar. Well, not the bar. It was like a diner. And he was like, they called him Mr. Glass. I lost it. Like, I was the only one in that fucking theater who understood what was happening. Like, everybody was like, what's going on? What does that mean? I was like, well, you clearly haven't seen M. Night Shyamalan's earlier work. Especially Unbreakable. So... It comes out January 18th, 2019. And you know what the title is? It's called Glass. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Um, I was a big fan of Unbreakable. I mean, Samuel Jackson, Bruce Willis. I mean, that was such a good fucking crazy movie, man. I, at the, when I first saw it, I, like, I didn't really understand what was happening. Because I saw it when I was a kid. But after rewatching it, you know, it, it was, you know, phenomenal for what for what it was. Um, and Split. Woo! James McAvoy, you guys. That motherfucker can act. He is no fucking joke. Literally. He's no joke. James McAvoy is probably one of the most talented actors of this generation. Yes. I mean, to, to take on such a role and, you know, have what was it called? I think uh, DID or I think DID or whatever. And to take on all these different personalities and, you know, nail each one. You had Miss Patricia, you had you had Barry, you had Hedwig, you had um, Mr. Dennis. <sighs> my God, man, he nailed all of that shit. My favorite, my favorite one out of all those names I named was probably Hedwig. He's he was he was the most likable character. Um, but yeah, man, I'm 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 hyped for this. I mean, I, I really, really can't wait to see what they're gonna do. I can't, I can't, my God, it's gonna be so fucking good. So good. Let me read you uh, some of this article on comic book Zakam. M. Night Shyamalan scored another box office hit in January when he released Split, a psychological thriller with X-Men's James McAvoy playing a serial killer with split personality disorder. In, uh, in classic Sha uh, Shyamalan fashion, the movie ended with an epic twist. All of his movies do. All of them, dude. For real. <laughs> Split was actually a superhero movie. A supervillain origin story, to be accurate. And that supervillain existed in the same world as Bruce Willis, Superman character David Dunn from Unbreakable. Since Split's big twist ending has been revealed, fans have been waiting for the official confirmation on the threequel that will pit McAvoy's character against Willis's character. Dude, that's gonna be crazy. David Dunn, and now we have it. As Shalaman himself announced today, the threequel will be titled Glass and it will hit theaters January 18th, 2019. Oh fucking yeah. That's such great news, man. My God. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what, like I said, what the story is gonna be behind it. You know, what's the premise? What's going to happen? Because, as you can remember, the Beast, James McAvoy's character, couldn't really be hurt. You know what I mean? Because at the end, she shot him with the shotgun like twice. And he was just, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Bring through the bars and shit. And Bruce Willis' character, Brian Dunn, is like super fucking strong, man. When he was bench pressing all them fucking weights to here. Nothing. More. Ah, nothing. Give us more. <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. I can't wait to see, you know, how they're going to mess these characters up, man. It's going to be crazy. It really is. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, man. Ooh, that's going to be crazy. So returning characters, you know, you're probably going to have, of course, Samuel Jackson. His character is going to show back up. Probably going to be in that goddamn comic book store. Um, And the surviving girl at the end of Split. I forgot her name. But, yeah, she's definitely going to be, you know, returning for the for the threequel. And I feel like, you know, um, M. Night Shyamalan, his work has had its up and downs. You know what I mean? Um, they all can't be winners. You know what I mean? Who am I to critique or judge any film director? Because I'm not a film director. I know the incredibly... Uh, the responsibility that these film directors have, you know what I mean? It's it's hard work. It's not easy, you know what I mean? All the pressure's on your shoulders. This is your movie, so let's see if you can pan it out right. Um, but he, you know, like I said, he's had his ups and downs. With what did, he did the Avatar, not the not not James Cameron's Avatar, the Avatar, you know, with the little fucking characters and water, earth, and fire and shit. Um, he did Signs, and I I thoroughly love Signs. Signs was a good movie. Um, he just did The Visit, like, I was probably a year and a half ago, maybe, he did The Visit. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm all in for it, you guys. I'm definitely all in for it. I have total faith in M. Night Shyamalan, because Split was dope, he's back. He's ready, he's ready to direct these movies. Um, in an interview I was watching with him, he said the reason why he has stepped away from the Unbreakable type films, the Science type films, because he was a family man, you know what I mean? He had kids, and... He wanted to switch it up a bit, you know what I mean? Being a father, that is. But now that his children are grown, he can go back to his, his original roots. The good scary shit. But I'm hyped, you guys. I'm, I'm glad that this is all coming together. And I can't wait for this, this fucking three cool. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a big one. Definitely gonna be a big one. Definitely gonna be a big one. Uh, but yeah, man. 2019, yo. It's gonna be another year. Another striking year. Again. Because I just, I just, on my other video, I what? The Lion King comes out, Star Wars Episode 9, Frozen 2. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I can't wait. Ooh. All right, you guys. Well, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about my video. Um, have you seen Split? Have you seen Unbreakable? Have you seen any M. Night Shyamalan movies? Let me know what's your favorite out of all of them. Personally, my favorite. Ooh, I don't have one, you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't. I, it's just, I, I mean, if I did, it'd be a toss-up between Signs and possibly Unbreakable or Split. Either of these, you know, those three. Those, those, those would be mine. But comment down below, you guys. Let me know what you thought about my video. Like, share, subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. And yes, one last time. Glass, January 19, 2019. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Peace. We out. We out. We out.